Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with a 2012 Jaguar XF Supercharged which in short has wrecked paintwork thanks to years and years of cheap roadside car washes. Those improper washing techniques with grit filled sponges, harsh TFRs and abrasive chamois leathers have caused an absolute abundance of paint tools and isolated deeper scratches which are well and truly dulling down the finish on the Jag's metallic black paintwork. The Jag is in for a two stage minor paint correction detail, g tenet crystal sear and black treatment, wheels off and ceramic coat, window coating plus a tickle around on the interior. Like most detailing jobs I am restricted to working to the customer's budget as the sky really is the limit with detailing, but nevertheless I still have four solid days to get the Jag looking as good as it can. The first step was to obviously wash and decontaminate the Jag before measuring the depth of the paintwork to begin sussing out any potential respray panels and to begin forming a plan of action. After the paint depth readings were taken, I began testing various cutting compounds and finishing polishes to dial in a two-stage combination that was going to work best with the Jags paintwork. In the end, I opted to use a FlexiPad microfiber cutting disc in the Rupes Green Medium compound. After completing the bonnet which was factory standard paintwork, it pretty much gave me the knowledge as to how the rest of the car would go. So from the bonnet I found that the paintwork was around the medium hardness so the defects didn't require anything special to remove other than a very thorough machine polish with the cutting stage. Although with this setup it was leaving a fair bit of haziness and hologramming behind which is to be expected from a cutting stage. I just needed to make sure that I'll be able to refine those self-induced defects with the one and only refinement stage. I'd already tested out a few of the Rupes polishes and finishing pads and found the combination that worked a treat, so I set about giving the rest of the paintwork the initial cutting stage. Metallic black paintwork is always the most interesting colour to machine polish as under the studio lighting you really can see everything. The top things that I've learned from machine polishing the Jaguar would simply be that the importance of keeping your cutting discs and finishing pads flat against the paintwork is paramount. As soon as the machine polisher goes from being anywhere but centred and flat, i.e. raised on one side of the machine so there is excessive pressure on anything but the face of the pad, then you are going to induce some seriously bad hologramming. The fix for this is simple, keep your machine polishing cutting pads and finishing pads as flat to the paintwork as you can. The rest of the cutting stage took patience as well as thoroughness and regular IPA wipe downs to make sure that you removed all of the swirling and to quite simply take your time so that you do a really good job. Like I say, I had 4 days to spend on the car so I decided to utilise a whole 2 days for machine polishing alone. After the cutting stage, the paintwork was looking far better off, although be it slightly hazy from the cutting stage, but the true colour of the Jag was starting to come through.
Onto the refining stage where I chose to use the white Rupes finishing polish and the white Rupes pad. I had tested this combination prior to cutting the entire car, so I knew that it would work. More often than not, particularly with black cars, than so far, I have tended to find that they always need the softest combination to fully refine back to a solid black colour without any haziness or marring. The refining stage is a delicate process, just like the cutting stage, ensuring that the polishing pad stays flat to the paintwork at all times. The one and only exception for this, which also goes for the cutting stage, is when machine polishing curved panels or tight areas, I would then tilt the machine to allow the polishing or cutting pad to continually spin, to cut and remove the defects from these harder to get to areas. When it comes to refining these tight or curved areas, I mean at first you want to make sure that you are using the right size machine, so either a Rupes LHR15 or a Rupes Mini Bigfoot, and make sure that those areas are thoroughly refined. This paintwork isn't anywhere near as soft as the Subaru Impreza STI's paintwork, as that one was unbelievably soft, but the Jag was the next step up at a medium hardness. It did take a bit of machine polishing to fully refine the finish, but with the speed on the machine polisher dropped down to speed setting number 5, just for a few final passes, finished the paintwork off impeccably. With these softer paints, or even black paint in general, I have now opted to follow the refining stage with a quick hand polishing stage using a super soft Skull Concepts polishing puck. To offer the paintwork a quick and extremely soft final finishing stage, just to make sure that the paintwork is at its ultimate gloss level. Believe it or not, this stage for soft or black paintwork, I have found, works wonders. I guess it also allows you to offer a final ultra soft refinement stage to the entire panel just before buffing the polish residue, which also makes the residue nice and easy to remove. With the two stage machine polish complete, which took 25 hours of solid work in total, the paintwork was given a final IPA wipe down using Geotanic Panel Wipe, preparing the painted surfaces for ceramic coating application. The best ceramic coating that I offer is called Geotechnic Crystal Serum Light and XOV4 which is a three layer ceramic coating that forms an ultra durable and tough, highly water and dirt repellent five year ceramic coating. By this point, provided that you've prepped the paintwork properly, i.e. a full decontamination and obsessive machine polishing stages, the ceramic coating application process should be a nice and smooth process which just takes patience, concentration and attention to detail. Geotechnic CSL was laid down on the paintwork, removed using the two towel technique, checked with the scan grip light for complete residue removal before moving to the next panel. Geotechnic Crystal Serum Light is going to provide the paintwork with the ultra durable and tough base layer. This first coat when fully hardened is going to provide wash induced marring resistance, swirl resistance and to also protect the paintwork from anything that mother nature or mankind has to throw at it. Thank <laughs> you. 
After applying Geotonic Crystal Serum Light, you need to apply two layers of XOV4 between 3 to 12 hours after the CSL application. It generally takes me between 3 to 4 hours to apply each layer of ceramic coating depending on the size of the vehicle, so after a short break for some lunch, it was straight on to the XOV4 stage. Following the same application process as Crystal Serum Light, which is to apply the first layer of XAV4 using a G-Technic finger foam applicator as evenly as you can across your entire working section, followed with taking your first microfiber towel to begin removing the excess product. Flip that first towel a few times so that you removed 80% of the excess, then take your second microfiber towel and wipe over the paintwork until all of the excess ceramic coating product residue has been fully removed. Using my ScanGrip handheld LED light, I will check the paintwork up close for complete residue removal, before allowing the ceramic coating layer to fully harden and moving on to the next panel. A ceramic coating application is a steady process that requires concentration, patience and attention to detail for the third time. If that coating gets applied wrong or if there are any high spots, these will be very noticeable when the coating fully hardens. So, get it right the first time. By the time I've applied the first layer of XAV4, which depending on the size of the vehicle is going to take me between 3-4 to four hours, I'll then have a short break and get cracking with the final layer of ceramic coating. Again, each layer of ceramic before you apply the next requires you to wait 3 hours, but you still need to get it applied within the next 12 hours. G-Technic XOV4 over the top of CSL is going to provide the vehicle with the ultra slick top surface that's going to be highly water and dirt repellent, ultimate added gloss and by doing these two additional layers it essentially forms the G-Technic 5 year ceramic coating. CSL on its own is between 3 to 5 years of protection, XOV4 on its own is up to 2 years of protection and CSL plus XOV4 is 5 years of protection which is also the best 5 years of protection currently available on the detailing market for the consumer available product, i.e. you can buy it yourself. There's nothing better than spending a few days restoring a vehicle's finish back to factory standard or sometimes even better, and then pop a few layers of ceramic coating on there to take the gloss level to a breathtaking standard. In terms of giving a vehicle the ultimate deep gloss and wet look, then look no further than the CSL Black Treatment. There is quite simply nothing that you can do to better this finish apart from wet sanding the paintwork first, but for most, this service of a minor paint correction detail and the G-Tanic CSL black treatment is by far the best choice. When the vehicle was finished, it was allowed 12 hours in the unit for the coatings to fully harden up and cure before being taken outside for some final finish footage. Other areas that were attended to on the 2012 Jaguar XF Supercharged were to take the wheels off and to detail them fronts and backs and to ceramic coat, dressing of the arches and tyres, ceramic coating for the windows and the cleaning of all door and boot shuts and sills. The Jaguar XFS is now well and truly restored and transformed from its previous neglected condition into a show winning example. This car was recently purchased by its new owner and has certainly gotten off to the right start by restoring and protecting its condition first. For full information about the unit based detailing services that I offer based at my industrial premises in Staffordshire or even my mobile maintenance or valeting services in the county of Staffordshire then please visit jpdetails.co.uk and don't hesitate to get in touch to discuss a booking just to see what I can offer you and your vehicle. As always thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. Air fresheners, microfiber towels, gift cards and training days including the group sessions are now available to purchase on my online store. Just visit jpdetails.co.uk. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.